Yo, what's going on, buddy? This is Don't Talk Sports. My name is Dylan. In today's video, what I'll be doing is this is going to be my Iowa versus Ohio State game reaction. I'm an Ohio State fan. If you're new to the channel, I kind of go through react to the game. It was a very, I wouldn't say slow, but it was very just methodical type of game to where it wasn't going to be one of those games where you're going to see a lot of high flying, passing touchdowns, big plays, big long runs. Iowa, they're a defensive team. They make you bleed out the clock. They want to grind it out. They want to win games like 17-10. 10 to 3, uh, 14 to 9. They want to win these low scoring games where there's not a lot of offense. With the highest state, they have a very high flying offense. They want to go out there and put up a bunch of points, which they did. They still won 35 7. But I do think there was a lot of high state fans. I saw all over different social media from Twitter to X, uh, Twitter or X, uh, Instagram. A lot of people were complaining, saying like this was a bad performance. What the fuck? Why did they take so long? Why did it take to almost midway through the third quarter for them to finally show up and actually play some ball? And I think people need to realize. Iowa is a very good defense. I knew we were going to struggle. I didn't. I had in mind, my mind, I thought this game would have been like a 20 to 3 victory. And I would have been like, that's good enough. So them winning 35 7, I am A OK with. But like I said, I'm going to kind of go through, talk about the game, give my reaction, give my opinions on kind of how I was feeling from the first quarter all the way through the fourth quarter. Talk about some of the uh, highlights. Or talk about some of the big things of the game. Mecca Buka, three touchdowns. We got to talk about that. Will Howard looked good. He did throw a bad interception, but I do kind of want to break that down, talk about it for a second. But like I said, I'm going to go through, just kind of react to the game, talk about it, uh, and just give my opinion and kind of what I thought, like I said, as the game kind of went through. So I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling and I'm going to get straight into this. So if you're going to enjoy it, as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated if you do so. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, like I said, 7.35, it was a good game. Like I said, I was expecting a low scoring game. I knew Ohio State was going to show a few years ago. I think was it 2021 2022 whenever it was we played iowa uh i believe we ended up having a very slow i think it was like 21 to 7 something like that uh at halftime and everybody was like what are the high state doing why are they looking this bad but then in the third quarter we started getting a lot of touchdowns fourth quarter more even more touchdowns turnovers started happening from iowa and i think we won that game like 52 to 10 or something like that and this game was pretty much like a I guess identical to that. It was 7 0 at halftime. Everybody was questioning what the fuck is going on. Why is it only 7 0? We came out there on the first drive. Iowa had the ball for, I think, like three or four minutes. They started milk the clock, but they didn't get anything. They punted the ball back to us, and we went miss very methodical. We knew it was going to be a grinded out type game. We went just four yard runs, five yard runs, short passes, just slowly inch your way down the field, and it worked. We got down the field. I think it took us like eight minutes to get down the field to score a touchdown. And I think in that moment, I was thinking, if we can do that, and like I said, win this game 28, maybe 28 points. If we could have scored that, I'd been happy. But 35 points, that's still pretty good. But like I was saying, they just did the right things. They didn't do anything stupid. They weren't trying to go for the big home run shots, like straight off the rip. They weren't going like play action, telling Will Howard, okay, we're going to throw it deep because I was corners. They're pretty good. They play man coverage. They like to stick to you. They don't give you anything easy. And it's part of the reason why in the second quarter, we were trying to take some shots. They're in the two minute warning. Uh, they were getting the ball back and then we stopped them. We got the ball back and we were trying to force some things. I think Will Howard, that interception, people say that was a bad interception. Will Howard, why would you do that? It was on third down. You weren't even in field goal range. It was one of those throws where he was like, we're going to punt the ball anyways. I'm just going to take a chance here and just throw it, see what I can get. And also, I believe it was one-on-one. -on -one, it was man coverage. And usually with one-on-one -on -one man coverage, those kind of balls, it's, they call them 50-50 balls. 50% 50 of the time, your guy gets it. Sometimes it's 50%, the other guy gets it. And that time, the other guy got it. So I don't really call that a bad throw. A lot of people are saying like, well, Howard, you can't make that throw. But boys, we were in, we weren't even in field goal range. I think we're like the 45 yard line. It doesn't matter. But as we moved on to the second half, like I said, it was a bad first half. Defense is playing good though. We got to appreciate the defense. Give a round of applause for them for this game. Offense came out in the second half and they were on fire. They got that inter uh, touchdown throw to Jeremiah Smith. Uh, that was pretty freaking insane. And before that throw, Jeremiah Smith went down the field. I think it was like 40 yard pass from Will Howard. Got down. Should have been a touchdown, uh, but he tripped up, got tripped up around like a three-yard line. Then they, Will Howard, it was like a read option type throw. It was like you had a fade, and you also had a quarterback run and also a handoff to the running back, and he just kind of stuck back. Offensive line was blocking for run. He threw it up to Jeremiah Smith, and he got his left hand being held by the corner. Should have been pass interference. Right hand, uh, one hand snapped that ball out of the midair. Like, this guy just makes top plays every single week. But as the game went on, I think uh, Iowa, they started making turnovers. They were fumbling the ball, strip sacks. Uh, we just kept on going down. We were like, okay, this is where we play our style of football. And the way with Ohio State, I feel like it's like with Iowa, they wanted to play a close game. They wanted to hurt us. They wanted to make it to where we had to work for everything we got. We weren't going to be given anything easy. But the way I would describe Ohio State is imagine a dam. And then imagine you have a bulldozer driving up against the dam. And you just drive up, hit it drive up hit it and you're slowly going to get cracks in the foundation 
That's the way it is playing with a high state. You, you, and you, the way it is, imagine you have a bunch of people. This is the best analogy I could try to think of. You put a bunch of people right there in front of the dam, and you got to get them all out of there in time. And if you do, you win the game. Iowa, they're trying to just do everything right and do everything smartly to get the win before that dam just comes down and just crushes them. And Ohio State, that's the way they kind of play. They want to crush you, and if you can't keep everything on your side and go in everything your way before Ohio State gets a rhythm on defense, a rhythm offense, you're screwed. Because eventually Will Howard started understanding what uh, Iowa's defense was doing. He started seeing better throws. Uh, running lanes started opening up off of the line, got the running lanes open. And like I said, defense, just cl they just did not care anything Iowa wanted to do because Iowa they want to run the ball they tried to run the ball they couldn't run the ball anywhere they tried to throw the ball in the first half they were actually throwing the ball pretty well second half they couldn't do anything I think the back quarterback uh the back of quarterback came into the game their starter went out uh back quarterback came in and he wasn't really doing much he wasn't really throwing the ball he was just kind of running around scrambling just handing the ball they they didn't really do anything in the second half to be honest but I mean overall great performance from the team like I said great performance uh, the, I believe I think it was like the eight minute mark. Uh, Will Howard and Christian Jungins they were still in the game, but all the backup receivers in the game were in the game and backup offensive line were in the game, which was kind of confusing to me. But then eventually they put Devin Brown in and James People came in. Uh, so all backups were in all offense. And when Iowa scored this touchdown, I do want people to realize people talk about this guy saying that he was gonna, uh, he he put out a quote tweet. Uh, during the weeks and that he wanted to hurt Ohio State or like not hurt but he wanted to beat Ohio State and he wanted to beat them down and he because apparently Ohio State didn't recruit him or something and he wanted to take it to them and he wanted to go out there and just run all over us well I don't know how to break it to you bud I was looking at your box score and take away that 20 uh, eight yard run that you ran for the touchdown you ran for about maybe 50 something yards last time I checked trying to beat us down would have been running for like uh, I don't know a hundred something yards this is the kind of part where we go on to talk about the defense because Ohio State's defense we lock them up. Like I said, Caden McNamara, the starter, he did okay. Like he did what Iowa kind of asked him to do, just short passes. Sometimes you go on a play action, make a quick throw, uh, the interception. I do want to talk about that interception though, because that was confusing to me. Uh, apparently, if the ball is tipped, pass interference goes out the window because Ohio State's uh, defender, Ignosa, he just threw the receiver to the ground and then picked the ball. I was thinking to myself, oh God, that's a pit. That's pass interference straight up. Why isn't this coming back? But then I was like, oh, not pass interference? Yay, interception. Like I said, with Iowa, they wanted to run the ball. They did okay. They ran for 116 yards. Everybody was trying to get some running in lanes. Uh, Ohio State's defense, their front four, they were swallowing it up. Linebackers were coming down, collapsing. Because like I said, Iowa doesn't really throw the ball too much. So it was easy for us to just say, we're going to keep seven guys in the box. If it's a if the quarterback is dropping back, obviously we know to get back and get in coverage. But if they are even trying to fake, do a handoff we know you ain't faking a handoff you're gonna run the ball so we're gonna come down and collapse and swallow this up like i said then turn the ball over a couple times that really helped out our defense our defense needs to get more turnovers they struggled a lot last year we couldn't get any turnovers whether it be pick or fumble for covers we couldn't do anything so it's really nice to see us actually getting turnovers this year and whenever it comes to defense like sacks wise four sacks i mean right now i think we're averaging like three sacks a game so that's pretty good for our defense right now we need to get more especially whenever you're playing, playing these bad teams and especially next week i believe we'll play oregon we're going to need to get some sacks. But like I said, defensive-wise, they played great. Round of applause for the defense. They, they did their job. They did their job because this is a very physical team. Iowa, they're off of the line. These are some big boys. These are men. They want to go out there and play physical with you. And Ohio State's defense, they hung around. They took it to them. Now, talk about Ohio State's offense. Like I said, Will Howard, 21-25, 209 yards, four touchdowns. He played great. Like he played a really good game. He scrambled when he needed to. He got out of the pocket a couple quarterback runs. Uh, the fourth and two, him trying to run himself. I didn't really like that one. That was a very bad play call. There was a bunch of like throws that Will Howard was making. Words like he kind of maybe had a better read. There was one throw I believe uh, that he made. I think it was a throw down the sideline. I forget who it was too. But he had a throw kind of coming across her. And if he would have just taken that throw. He probably would have had like a big first down, like a chunk play, but instead it was an incomplete pass. And with that kind of stuff, it's all just timing. So I think they'll go back and film. They'll be able to figure that stuff out. And with the run game, they did good. 203 yards rushing. And I thought it was funny at the very end of the game, whenever they were going to take the final knee, knee downs uh, to end the game so they can just get out of there, take the knees. Uh, I believe they said on the telecast, somebody from the sideline from Ohio State hollered out to Devin Brown and the offensive line and all of them to be like, don't lose yards. We want 200 rushing yards. Because I think this is our first game with 200 rushing yards. And they realize we are just above 200 yards. Don't take any kneel downs to lose a bunch of yards. If you're going to lose yards, you lose one at most. And they were right. Because look right here. 203 yards rushing. They 
they needed those yards. When it comes to receiving, like I said, Emeka Buka, he finally showed up. Jeremiah Smith's been getting a lot of love recently. He still got a touchdown, so he got some love. Emeka Buka, he's been kind of quiet here lately. He got some love big time in this game. Three touchdowns, nine catches, 71 yards. He was on fire. One thing I will say that I haven't said a lot this season, I would like to see the running backs get more involved, especially like a screen game. Trevor Henderson, Quinchon Jenkins, I like to see them get involved in a screen game because maybe it could help out this offense a little bit. But overall, like I said, great performance from Ohio State. They played good. Uh, I don't think that there was really anything bad to talk about. Like I said, first half, you made a lot of mistakes. It happened. They're going to need to clean those things up. But like I said, it was Iowa. Iowa is a stingy team. They're a really good defense. Their offense isn't that great. But the defense, they are stingy. If they had, like we keep on saying, if Iowa had a competent quarterback, a co very competent quarterback, and a good offensive play caller, this team would be very, very good. But instead, they're just a perennial eight and four, nine and three team. Like they get by, they win some games. They play Big Ten football. That's what they do. Big Ten football don't win games anymore. You got to be able to kind of evolve and get an offense going. And that's part of the reason why you only see teams like Ohio State, Penn State, and Michigan winning the Big Ten. Because those three teams have offenses and everybody else does not. But other than that, I think I'm gonna wrap up there. Hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy today's video. If you did enjoy, as always, make sure you go and drop a like on today's video. Be very much appreciated to do so. If you want to watch the entirety of today's video, thank you very much. And like I said, if you have a different opinion, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Do you think Ohio State played a good game, bad game? Do you think Iowa played them tough, not tough? If you're a high State fan or an Iowa fan or just neither fan, and you just want to leave your complete opinion on kind of how you think the game went, if you watched the game and you want to leave your, uh, like I said, complete opinion down in the comment section down below on how you think the game went, go ahead. I'll be more than welcome to kind of talk about with you guys. If you're a fan of the content that I do post here and you want to go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button, feel free to do so. And you never forget to hit that little notification bell, be notified. Second to post. But without further ado, this has been Don't Talk Sports. Have a rush day. Peace.